Hello everyone and welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this course, you will be able to learn Next.js crude application. I am going to make this employee management system to create, read, update and delete records. You are about to learn how you can create this beautiful application with Next.js and Redux. We are using Redux library to share the data between different components. As well as, we are using React query to fetch the data from the backend and cache that data. We are also going to make our own middleware and create a MongoDB connection and store all the records in the database. So let me first demonstrate this application. I'm going to first create the title, Employee Management, and inside that, we have here a table. Inside this table, we only have one record. Let's suppose that we want to create another record here. So we create Add Employee button. When we click on it, you will have here a form that will allow you to insert a new record inside a database. You can see the default active check to this form. You can easily change this default check if you want. Now let me specify the first name to the employee, the last name, then I'm going to specify the email and then I'm going to specify his salary in numbers. And then I'm going to choose his birthday. So let's suppose if I choose his birthday and then I'm going to leave this active as it is. When I click on the add button, you can see you're going to get here a message added successfully. And then you're going to have here your new user with a new profile icon. We are adding this profile icon randomly. If you want, you can choose your own profile icon as well. Now, let me add one more record here. I'm going to click on this add employee. This will remove this form. And if you click on the add employee again, you will get your new form. Let's suppose if I specify the first name, the last name, then I'm going to specify the email and the salary. And I'm going to choose the random date. And this time, instead of active, I'm going to choose inactive status. When I click on the add button, you can see I'm going to have this message and we have the inactive user here. Now, what if you want to update this data? You can just click on this button right here. You can see we have the update button here. Let's suppose that I want to update the second employee. I'm going to click on this update button. When you click on it, you will get your form and now you can update any value from this form. Let's suppose if I change this salary to 20,000 and I'm going to change the status as well to inactive. When I click on the update button, you can see the salary and the status is now changed. Now, what if I want to change the status of this third record? I'm going to click on this update button and now I can choose and change its status. I'm going to active this user. So I'm going to click on this active and click on the update button. You can see now the third user is active. Now, what if you want to delete this data? If you want to delete your data, you can easily click on this delete button. When you click on it, application will ask you a question. Are you sure you want to delete this data? If you click on no, it will do nothing. But if you click on yes, it's going to delete this data from the MongoDB database. So this is what we are going to create in this project. This looks easy, but when you start building this application, it will add more challenges. I hope you will learn many new concepts from this application. So before wasting your too much time, let's get started. So I'm going to open the VJ Studio code, which is right now the most popular editor. And inside this, I'm going to open an empty folder. I'm going to name this empty folder project. Inside this project directory, I'm going to create a new Next.js application. So let me first open the terminal. So you can see we are already in the project directory. So now here I'm going to create a new project. To create a new Next.js project, you have to say npx create next app and then you specify the app name. I'm going to choose app name crude underscore app. So when I press enter, this is going to create a new Next.js application inside this project directory. It will take about a minute to create this complete project. Once you have your project, you have to first enter into your project directory. So just specify here CD, then specify the project name, Guruda app. And here you need to say npm run dev. And this is going to start the development server on localhost 3000. When you click on this link, you can see you're going to have your Next.js application. Now, what I want, I want to set up the Delvin CSS in this project so we can easily style all the HTML elements. So I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to search for Delvin CSS and click on this first website. Here, I'm going to have the DelvinCSS.com. Just click on the Get Started. Choose the Framework Guide and then choose the next CSS. Once you create your project, you have to install the Delvin, Post CSS and Auto Prefixer. So let me copy this first command in my project let me stop the development server and here I'm going to execute that command npm install hyphen d to install these packages as development dependencies 
and then I'm going to specify Delvin CSS, post CSS, and auto prefixer. And after that, we need to execute this command npx delvin init hyphen p. Now, when I execute this command inside this terminal, you can notice inside this project, when I execute this command, it's going to create a new file delvin config.js and post css.config.js. This will initialize this project with delvin CSS. So, just after that, you have to just configure your template path. So, just copy both these statements and open the delvin config.js file. Here, inside this content, right here, you have to specify both that statements. Something like this. So, if you are just informing Next.js that we might have JS, TS, JSX and TSX files inside the pages and the component folder. So, using that file, we are using the Telvin CSS in the project. Once you've done that, just save the changes, close this file, back to the project and you have to just add these three directives inside your global.css file. Back to your project and inside the styles folder right here, you're going to have your globals.css file. Just specify all these three directives right up here. So you will have all the Telvin built-in classes inside your Next.js project. Back to the Telvin and now you have to just execute a command called npm run dev. So I'm going to back to the terminal here. I'm going to execute npm run dev. So this will just start the development server. You can see I'm going to have the Next.js project with Telvin configuration. You can just add this statement and check your Telvin is successfully initialized or not. So you just have to back to the pages folder, open the index.js, get rid of all this code right from here. I'm not using this default code. So let's get rid of it and add here the closing main first. And then I'm going to add here h1 heading tag. Something like this. And you have to close this div as well. So down here, you have to say div. Save this file. Back to the project and you can see you're going to have your hello world.